He said to me, because if I take her to the hospital, they will let her die at the doorsteps before letting her in. That is not having health care. We have health care. Right. It's not broke, we don't need to fix this. This is really about trying to figure out the best way to do this. And I've got a whole bunch of theories on how to do this, but I won't bore you with it because this is not about my theories right now. This is about saying no to government uh, controlled or government mandated healthcare. So please, in closing, in closing, there are three things I need you to do. Number one, I need you to sign up on the petition. We need as many people as possible to tell our representatives that we do not think that it is necessary. We do not want to give up our liberties. And we do not want government mandated health care. Number one. Number two. For those of you so inclined, please go to my table, buy my book, and I, I know I'm, I'm shamelessly plugging my book. Got it, got it. But really, I wrote the book for this purpose. I wrote the book for people like you. I wrote the book so that you people would be, would know what to say when you hear, when you get involved in this debate. So if you guys want to take this to a higher level, buy the book, the information is there. I'm highly discounting it for, for you all. And number three, I saw a bunch of hands go up today of people who were not in our districts. That is great. Because not only do I want the people in our district to take this battle to Congressman Buchanan's office, and by the way, let me tell you, I've spoken with him personally, he gets it about healthcare reform, but I don't care, it can't, shouldn't be me by myself, you guys need to keep the pressure on too. I need you to take it to Senators Nelson and Martinez, they need to see it too. But also, and maybe even more importantly, because I don't know what district some of you come from, we need Democrats enlightenment. We need the Democrats in the leadership positions to realize the harm that they're doing. So those of you who are here from another district, especially those who are blessed with having a Democrat uh, congressman, take it to them. Let them know that you do not want this, that this is not necessary, and this is wrong. God bless you all, and thank you much for this. Thank you, Dr. Hewell. Dr. Hewell, it was nice to come out and speak with us. So if you have any questions, maybe you could corner him somewhere and ask him some, but I think we all know that we do not want more broken systems. Did you hear Dr. Julio's beeper go off in his pocket as he was speaking? Can you imagine a postal worker carrying 